with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. You came for sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who brought me out of St. Anthony, to serve you by the wondrous way of life and death, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, <clears throat> but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world lead rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God, that you may be able to resist on the evil day, and having done everything, to hold your ground. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> You are my inheritance, O Lord. You, you are, are my inheritance, inheritance o, Lord. o Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You, you are, are my inheritance, inheritance o, Lord. o Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even at night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are, you my, are my inheritance, inheritance Lord. Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You, you are, are my, my inheritance, inheritance Lord. Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Someone approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which ones? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All of these I have observed. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, 
sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men this is impossible, but for God all things are possible. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. The first commandment upon which all others are built is to love our Lord with our whole heart, mind, and soul, to have him first in our life and nothing else beyond him. This is what we are called to strive for, to live in, as our Lord has demonstrated to us that we are first in his heart by how he gives himself to us in Scripture, in the cross, in the Eucharist, the sacraments, the church, in a matrimonial relationship. This is what the spouses vowed to do with each other, to give of themselves fully to their spouse out of love. And God has shown us that the context for us and our relationship with him is marriage. This can be daunting for us because we either are attached greatly to the goods he has given us, I have quite the comic book collection, or we're afraid of what he will ask and the difficulty it will bring. And we've seen examples of this our Blessed Mother Mary's, yes. Our Lord in the Garden of Gethsemane's, yes. St. Anthony's, yes. By abandoning everything and giving it all to God and then living a monastic life in the desert. And we see the hardship of that and we aspire to avoid that difficulty because we do not want its suffering or we do not want to lose the goods that we have been given. But this is a trap from the adversary. There is nothing that God would ask us that is not good. Nothing that God would ask us that does not lead us to him and is greater than any good we could have apart from him. He isn't malicious or capricious. He is our loving father. And that what he asks of us brings us to him the greatest good. In that abandonment of earthly goods and living in the desert, Anthony becomes a saint. And in that, and by the grace of God, strives as a model for all other monks and monasteries to follow that they may become saints. Mary becomes the mother of God. And Jesus saves us from sin and death. Sainthood is won through the cross by God's grace and the giving of everything over to our Lord, placing him first. Our invitation is not necessarily to go out into the desert. Vocation is one that our Lord gives to each of us unique beside but to emulate St. Anthony, to present our whole life and everything in it and say, Lord, I give this back to you. What do you want me to do with it? And trust that the answer we get will come from his love and greater lead us to him, the greatest good. 
So St. Anthony is inviting us to do as he was led to do. Bring all to our Lord. Bring our work and our leisure, our hardship and our joys, our family and our friends, our rest and our suffering. Bring it all to God and say, what is your will for me in every facet of my life? And then trust to say yes when we hear it. He will lead us to him, and all he asks of us will bring us to greater joys and goods than we could have apart from him. The invitation is to properly see that these small goods aren't supposed to be between he and I, but to lead us to him, and that they are gifted to us to lead us to him. May St. Anthony help us to trust him, to give our whole hearts to him, that we may love him with all we are, and in turn, help others to do the same. Jesus answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. My brothers and sisters, trusting in the love and mercy of our Lord, let us unite our hearts and minds and bring forth to God these petitions. For the intentions which we hold in the silence of our hearts, and for the repose of the soul of Jack McCarthy, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for the profound gift of your mercy and love. Please help us by your grace and the intercession of your saints to return the gift of love to our neighbor and to you in all that we are and all that we do. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. And with your spirit. 
We lift them up to the Lord. It is right and just. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you a countless word, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that we're taking the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph the spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of thine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of gospel, peace are you. My peace are you. The God of our King, the Lord of the of your church, and graciously grant my peace to you, the Holy Spirit, your Lord, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's all pray. world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace
Let us pray. Nourish for our healing by your kindness, O Lord, may we escape every snare of the enemy unharmed. Just as by your grace, take care of the one who Lord and Jesus for the power of darkness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Master Savior, go in peace. Thanks be to God.